G'day viewers, I'm Simon Christie. This week we are in beautiful Japan, but as you can see, conditions are far from perfect. We are though, here to find out what life off-road means to the local Japanese. I hope you enjoy the episode. Our next overseas adventure draws us to Nara in Japan, a bustling city steeped in history and tradition. Located around an hour east of Osaka, Nara was once the capital of Japan and is well known for its ancient temples, shrines and monuments, including the enormous complex of Toraiji, which houses the largest bronze statue of Buddha in the world. Deer are considered sacred in Nara, seen as protectors for the region, and as such are allowed to roam freely in the temple grounds and the city, providing joy to tourists and locals alike. But the real point of interest for us is a unique off-roading destination, located southeast of Nara. It's the Nara Trial Mountain Park, and we've been invited to attend one of their events known as Supercrawl Japan. This week we are in beautiful Japan, but as you can see, conditions are far from perfect. But we're here to find out what life off-road means to the local Japanese, and believe me, they are just as passionate about four-wheel driving as we are. We've been invited to the Nara Trial Mountain four-wheel drive park by owner Naozumi Suda. Now, Zumi, what have we got in store for us this weekend? This event is on Rock Crawl event, and uh, we called Super Crawl Japan 2017. This weekend, I'm pretty worrying about the rain, but uh, I, I want to make a great event. Today's weather, uh, too bad condition. Maybe the, this year the most bigger, number one typhoon coming now. Typhoon is incoming, so it brings a lot of rain here, making the competition really tough. As a spectator, well, uh, yeah, it's raining, but watching them go, they're really doing it, and really nice. Super crawl and super typhoon, but all of the guys here are hardcore and they're still rocking it. A lot of the vehicles we're seeing here this weekend are these superbly prepared Suzuki's. We've got a great diversity of Jimny's and Sierra's and they've all been custom modified uniquely. But there are also a number of bigger rigs including Jeeps and Land Cruisers. Whatever the size, make and model of vehicle though, they are all here for one thing and that is rock crawling. And the Nara Trial Mountain property excels at that and has the best rock crawling facilities in Asia. 
our course is 250 hectares in the center of Nara prefecture. I put many rocks in my park. We have many kind of trains, like a rock and a mud and a soils. We invite some famous guy from US. We can watch what they can do. We're very fortunate to be here with rock crawling legend Jesse Haynes. Jesse, your first time to Japan? Uh, yeah, it is. It's been quite a while that they've had this going on here, and I've always wanted to come and haven't had a chance, but looking forward to it. What do you think of the tracks they've got here? It's really cool terrain. I mean, they've got this man-made course that looks really natural. Looking at the videos that I'd seen of it before, you can hardly tell that it's a man-made course. Then there's also a decent amount of natural terrain. It's a cool spot. It's just a unique looking terrain compared to what we've seen other places. It's been a sensational day of wheeling here at the Nara Trial Mountain Fall Drive Park. But stay tuned when the action hots up tomorrow when we've got the Trail Gear Rocks Super Crawl event coming your way. But what do the Japanese love just as much as their off-roading? They love to party. So let's head for the Saturday night after party right now. Hey, I'm Matt Messer from Trail Gear. We're here in Japan for the first international rock crawl for Supercross. Some other great upgrades when running bigger tires and lower gearing is long field super axles. Now these are factory replacements. They'll bolt right in to your Suzuki, Nissan, and Toyota applications. If you're looking for stronger axles, CVs, or burr fields, Longfield is a brand for you. Are the events in Japan normally this wet? Oh no sir, not usually this wet. Sometimes drizzle but this is seriously really, really wet. Do you think the driving will be tough today? Sure. As you see, it's a really heavy rain. It's rainy today. You know, usually this sport is considered a low speed technical sport and I think that's gonna change just a little bit today. What are the rules for racing? Because it's a uh, rain is a special regulation. Two bad conditions, uh, maybe three gate and uh, one bonus. How do the points work? The points in this is, is just like all the other super crawl type events where it's 10 points for hitting a cone. There's backup penalties and you have 10 minutes to finish the course. Lowest score wins, and then time is not really a factor other than just finishing under the time limit. Explain to us the classes that are racing this weekend. We had the stock class, usually small tires, not so much modifications. Pro Mod, which is basically two seat buggies that kind of look like a, a Jeep or Toyota. And then the unlimited class is just full tube buggies. You can go crazy. Anything you want, any type of engine or modifications, links, suspensions. A 
Mr. Naozumi of Tsuda Racing. He makes these events and every time he makes an event, he gives out a personal invite. This is a great place to have rock crawling events. He has every aspect of the different varieties of rock crawling terrain here. You got sand, mud, big rocks. It's a great variety and provides just a great challenge for every driver that's out here. Not so much foreigners come out in this place, so having you guys and the Americans for the international community, it's pretty much a big deal for them. We are really glad to have you guys, and I'm really looking forward to it. Suda Racing, they're super great guys. They go above and beyond to, to help people out and to get this event going. It's great, and you know what? I, I don't think there's anybody else I'd rather be out here with. It's all a win in my book. To be honest, the language barrier makes it a little more difficult. It's hard to know exactly what's going on, but really we're just here to have fun. I mean, that's the biggest reason that, that we came here. Not to win or anything like that necessarily. Obviously that's something we're gonna go out there and try and do, but just trying to have a good time. There are so many different vehicles at this event this weekend and so many different fantastic trails to drive. Now what could be better than visiting a four-wheel drive park in Japan? Well, I say driving at a four-wheel drive park in Japan and that's exactly what I have been given the opportunity to do with this vehicle right here. Now, it might look like your common garden variety Suzuki Sierra, but let me tell you, this is one very serious off-road weapon. Just awesome to see the vehicles having a crack on these difficult stages. Well, this here to my left is the track that I will be doing first up. So let's take a look at that. Hopefully we'll get to see a vehicle on it and get some tips and hints to help me get through it in one piece. So this is a great example of a competition buggy that's built here in Japan. One of the components from Trail Gear that you'll see on a lot of competition vehicles is the full hydro steering kits. Now we make this kit in a 6 inch, 8 inch and 10 inch ram. And if you are running bigger tires and on the trail a lot, this is a kit that will make your life a lot easier from the driver's seat and a lot more enjoyable. When you buy a full hydro kit for your competition vehicle or your trail riding vehicle, you get every component that you need. You're gonna get the ram, the clamps, some of the mounting tubes and hardware. You'll get the clevises. You're gonna get the cooler, the pump, the reservoir and filter as well. And this is all the components that you'll need to do your install.
There are so many different vehicles at this event this weekend and so many different fantastic trails to drive. Now what could be better than visiting a four-wheel drive park in Japan? Well, I say driving at a four-wheel drive park in Japan and that's exactly what I have been given the opportunity to do with this vehicle right here. Now it might look like your common garden variety Suzuki Sierra, but let me tell you, this is one very serious off-road weapon. I am so excited to be here to have a vehicle to drive, so let's get in it and hit those rocks. It continues to pour with rain, but it is time for me to tackle my first course of the day. This is going to be a trial by fire for me, having had basically no experience on this course or in this vehicle. There's been no let up in the rain and I'm about to tackle my second course for the day, which has been turned into a river that cuts through the track, making it one hell of a challenge. Luckily for me though, my mate Naozumi has kitted me out in full wet weather gear and the vehicle is set up ready to tackle anything they can throw at it. For today's racing, I'm lucky to have a vent director's brother, Massa, as my spotter. His hard work and experience with the track has made such a difference on these challenging stages. With the day's racing done, it was no surprise that the first overall place went to the American Jesse Haynes and his spotter Nick. Plenty of happy locals shared the many class trophies, but a big surprise for me was that Massa and I had managed to take out fourth place in our class of 17 teams, tying off the perfect weekend and a massive overseas adventure at Supercrawl Japan. What a crazy weekend of off-roading it has been here in Japan. Big thanks to my hosts, Suda Racing and of course, Trail Gear. Well, that's it from Simon Christie and the team here. Tread lightly, keep it safe, play hard. We'll see you next week. Yay! Look at this. Hi, my Jimmy. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one second. Ha ha ha.